So over here you can see that I have a simple Python programming code right here, but this is not the right way to actually go ahead and display our programming codes. So for that, what you can do is utilize something called code blocks extension so that it can format out the code as necessary. So to do that, you need to go around onto extensions right here and then go around onto add-ons and then go around on to get add-ons right here. So over here, what you can do is once this loads up, you can go ahead and type in code blocks right here, just like this. And once you do that, you can see that code blocks is here. I've already installed it right here, but you can go ahead and install it out right here. So now once that is done, you can go ahead and select the code block right here. And then you can see that this is what you have. So if I were to go around onto code blocks, I can go ahead and start this out right here. So it says authorization is required. So you need to go ahead and select out your account right here, just like this and allow this out right here. So once that is done, what happens is that code blocks will open up over here on the right hand side and you can see that you can leave the language to auto and you can choose a theme as you like like a gate and then click on format right here as the uh, code is selected so once that is done in a while what will happen is that the programming code will be formatted right here and you can see that it uh, knows where the text are where the variables are and so forth if you don't like this theme, you can go ahead and choose another one. Like let's say you want VS theme right here, Visual Studio theme, go ahead and format it. And then you get the Visual Studio theme right there, just like that. And that is how you can utilize the document um, uh, code blocks that is in Google Docs as needed. And just like that. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.